Hi, welcome. We're on Arch Labs 5.0, which is R2 D2. We're going to show you how to install Arch Labs. And what better way to show it in VirtualBox? So, if you're not ready to install it on an SSD or a hard disk, then you first try it out in VirtualBox. You set everything up. You can find tutorials to install VirtualBox on Mac, Windows, and Linux on AeroDeboard.pe. You download the SourceForge ISO. I have already clicked on it. It's ready to load. Let's start it, maximize it, and wait for the screens to pop up. It's about eight screens. This is one screen. You have to press enter, and all the screens are very self-explanatory, quite easy, graphical, no black screens, commands to remember and to figure out. It's just these buttons we're gonna follow. It asks which language do you want? I prefer English, my Portuguese is a bit rusty. And then next, he knows I'm from Brussels, Belgium. Great, don't have to point that to him. If I'm on a laptop and you're not, you do not have a connection yet because of the virus, uh, you still have to type in your password. Just click on it, just type, click on the country, country you want to have, and it works as well. So next is my keyboard, which is best to be a Zetti. And then we're gonna erase the disk. This will delete all data and so on. My advice to all of you, don't do a boot, don't triple boot and so on. There are questions all the time on the forum. You are making yourself, yourself um, making it difficult for yourself. Don't do it. Just follow standard procedures on any distro. That's the best thing to do. Next, he wants to know my name, and then I'm always giving it the name from the version I'm working on, normal. And then we just wait. I have now two minutes, 45 seconds, and everything will be installed, more or less, depending on your hardware, depending on virtual box and so on. But it's quite fast, uh, easy, as you can see, because our installation is finished, and we're just waiting now. While we're waiting, let's uh, put something. Um, let's let's point out some important stuff. First off, we get information on Arch Labs. Hello, hello, and this is all kind of information you can check out in the meantime. There is also a community ready to help you, and to also very um, guys that design Arch Labs. That I think is this still Arch Labs that is beautiful. So do check it out, get some inspiration, because Arch Labs can be made so beautiful. All right, so that's Arch Labs Hello. It's gone. No, it's not gone. It's still here. You can run it again and read it, OK? Then next thing, this conky here has been made to help you. It's been created to help you. And all these shortcut keys have been added. What's the most important one, the thing we hear, uh, starting from Arch Labs 3.0 already, Where's the menu? Where's the menu? So right mouse click, that's the menu. So you can run any of these, everything will work. And voila, that's our menu. What else? Uh, most important thing is getting out of it. So right mouse click, exit will work. There's a shortcut, super X. So the S is super, lots of super things. Print screen, control alt. Super, super, old, yeah, everything is clear. And we have not one menu, one, two, three, four, five, and actually even more. But uh, those are shortcuts, okay? So these are all menus. You can, this is a menu, fine. Alt F3 is a menu, okay, nice. I can see some icons here. Mm -hmm. We have Alt F2. Uh, we can run and say, just give me Firefox, enter, and it starts Firefox. We have Super Shift D, is a menu on top, same applies, just type it, Firefox, run it, enter. And there you go, I have to stop my tutorial here because we're ready to reboot. So do check them out, it's an, quite an interesting uh, way to work with Arch Labs if you know keyboard shortcuts. It's so fast.
Okay, booting from the hard disk and not from the ISO now. And about eight seconds on my hardware anyway, I have Arch Labs active. It's almost like the speed of an iPad. I don't want to see this. You're connected now, blah, blah, blah. Don't show it. I'll see it. If it's not connected, this one will become red. So I'll know. I don't want to see it. So this one, there it is again. Why? Well, this is the last time you'll see it because the first time was on the ISO. This one is after reboot. When I just close it, you'll never see it again unless you choose to and it's here. So there you go. In this short time, we have already installed everything and now it's up to you to figure out what to do with the system, how to tweak it, because look at this, all the goodies, all things to make your system beautiful. Those things, the conky is super interesting. A lot of conkeys in 46 or something like that. I don't know, lots of conkeys there. Um, cancel, I don't want to restart. Okay, restart them. And what else? The GUI, so this one, lots of things you can change and configurations all are here. So do check all of these out. This is also an important one for you guys and you will learn about them in my other tutorials. All right, have fun. This was the tutorial of installation of Arch Labs.